Hello and welcome to this introduction into trig ratios and trig trigonometric ratios are basically on my example the CR they're basically uh, trigonometric functions that you should know. There's mainly they you, they're easy to remember without you don't even need a calculator for them because they can be drawn. It's a triangle. Now I've got to attempt to do no nope. just going over that a bit. There we go. Right. Now this is meant to look like a right angle triangle with angles of forty five. Angle 45. Now, these specifically have sides labeled 1, 1, and root 2. This is because they used to do Pythagoras in this triangle. It works 1 squared plus 1 squared is equal to 2, and then obviously you have to square root it. You get root 2 with the hypotenuse. Now, the trick rule is the sine of an angle, okay, sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cos of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and um, the tan of an angle is equal to adjacent, opposite over adjacent. So let's write that out. You have sine. Sine of 45 is equal to 1 over root 2. The cosine of 45 is equal to 1 over root 2. And this is because basically the sine and the cosine curve intersect at. Whoop, they intersect at 45 degrees without an axis. Let's say the cosine curve will go like that. The sine third curve will go through zero. Sort of like that. It's a very dodgy drawing. But yeah, that's where the cosine curve and the sine curve intersect. And then now you have tan opposite of tan 45. equal to 1 over 1 which is 1 and basically these are used in exam situations when a question uses either the sine or cosine rule and they'll have one of these angles and they'll ask for the answer in exact form because when you say sine when you sine inverse and say a random number it's like the sine inverse of like 57 your calculator will display a lot of numbers, but that's not where the number finishes. That number will carry on and carry on and carry on. But these these uh, these can be expressed as the ratio of two numbers, and these were used to keep accuracy in answers. But this isn't the only trig ratio. You also have. See how good I can draw this triangle. Not bad. Quite bad. This one has different angles, different angles. Diagram not to scale. It's meant to be sixty. See the right angle, obviously. Now this will have sides of one, root three, and two. Again, that is equal to that squared plus that squared. 
you know, well, the square root of the square of that is equal to the square of that plus the square of that. And 1 squared plus root 3 squared, 1 plus 3 equals 2 squared equals 4. Simple enough. Um, and from this, we can deduce answers of sine 60, cosine 60, tan 60, and for cosine, sine, and tan 30. We have start with sine 30, sine 30, sit over the hypotenuse, which equals a half. Cosine of 30, the end adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2, tan of 30, opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over root 3, now that's only using the 30 degree angle we've got, we've got a 60 degree angle, now let's move up here, right, let's see, sine 60, opposite over hypotenuse, so that's root 3 over 2, This uses just the normal trig rules of sine and cosine. It's just that these are used because, well, they're exact values, they're not irrational numbers. Lost my pen. Cos 60, therefore equal to a half tan 60 equal to root 3 and that's basically it for trigonometric ratios these are basically results that are handy to keep the triangles in mind because they will ask questions on them about and these well these are used to keep your answers exact rather than using I don't know an answer to two or three sign significant figures these keep your answers exact and maintain accuracy plus you may be asked to use them or you may just be asked what is the cosine of 45 for one mark but they'll say give your exam give your answer in exact form now I believe if you have a calculator in maths mode it gives it an exact form. If not, stick to the tr the right angle triangle, and then the this is one half of a equilateral triangle, and you should be fine. Next, I'll try and make a video on using these and trigonometric identities in an exam situation. Stay tuned.